Thank you, Chairperson, uh, Dr. Sapungal Danapan, and the uh, President and the members of the GMOI, and my dear junior colleagues. So, uh, just now we watched a very interesting short video clip which shows uh, different kind of innovations. Probably looked into a lot of IT and uh, having a, at the kind of a higher end. But now our question is, are innovation possible at internship? So let's uh, look into several points throughout this presentation. What is innovation and uh, how we can do during internship and which kind of characteristics that you should have for this. Now, as we all know, scientific uh, studies is important for medicine because medicine is based on science and it is never static, it is evolving. What we practiced about 10 years back is not the one you are practicing today and it will not be the thing and the applications and different uh, techniques used after 10 years. So that is all because new innovation daily add into the our uh, discipline. Why innovations? Simply as we watch in the film as well, it's to improve the quality as well as the efficacy of service delivery. Now, then the question comes to you, innovations. Is it innovations possible during internship? Because when the word comes as innovations, it is little nervous and it seems like a very uh, high-end thing for you. But it is not the case. There are so many simple things you can do uh, in your practice. But what we talk is not only the rocket science. Maybe the you are putting the foundation for the rocket science too, but you may look into very simple things which will be important for your practice. And different kind of things, small activities, so small innovations which will improve the, your services during your internship and beyond. So creativity is really important for innovations. And in fact, the creativity and innovations goes together. So what is creativity? It's the production of novel and useful ideas. And when you have those, the successful implementation of creative ideas is innovation. So the creativity is the starting point for the innovation. Now, to do the innovation and the creativity, you should have an imagi imagination in your mind. So what Albert Einstein said, the knowledge is limited. Imagination circles the whole world. So to have the creativity, you need to have expertise. That always you do have, that we are thinking of the innovation at your level with your expertise. And create your thinking skills. And motivation. That the motivation is very important. You already have this expertise and the creative thinking skills. That's why you are here today. But the motivation you have is really important to go further. So we will see few possible areas for innovation during internship and I have marked it in red, not limited. So that means because that the, what you are presenting is not just the only things that you look into the innovation aspects, but there are so many. One of the things is applying five years. Now, five in, apply five years is at once you might see it's not an innovation, it's already a documented subject. But looking into your working environment and put it innovative way is really important and it is your innovation. Now you can see the innovation level I'm talking about at your internship is how simple but how it is important. And five years, it's uh, probably you don't know but I just feel like listing it out, sort, set in order, shine that is the area is clean and the work is performed, standardized and sustained. So you will working in a environment where a lot of congestion, a lot of patients and sometimes you will overburden with work. But think innovatively how you can manage it. It is really important and sometimes you may come up with a good solutions that you can manage your patients uh, who are really congested in a clinic or ward setting to have a very smooth way of going in the everything happens. Now, 
you may write a lot of investigations and also you have to keep a lot of BHT notes. See that how you can do it in a very methodical way as well as uh, looking into the way something innovatively. That's not the traditional way where it has been happening all the time. But remember that these things has to be done with the consensus with the consultant and the other team and the things you are doing if it is not uh, understanding for others then problem. But think innovatively how you can do it. When you have a good innovation it should be also the practical also as well and uh, keeping investigations, request form for investigations. You may be writing 100 and 100 and forms every day. Uh, looking into the methods, you can see whether things can be, can make easier, as well as in clear, as well as having a more productivity. And you all in a now IT era, Everyone is having the tabs and uh, all sophisticated smartphones, computers, skills and so on. Don't limit these whole tabs and smartphone just to the Facebook and see how you can use these, the, these gadgets for the benefit of the patients as well in a way. And sometimes for the, even the health education, sometimes those things can be used in an innovative manner. And in the health education itself is a really important part in your uh, practice. Now, the previous presentation, it shows that the uh, prevention of the disease in future or making the drug compliance of the patient is important. So for that, you may have to deliver some information for patients. But you have very little time as well. You don't have much time. So identifying the most suitable and innovative method to do that is really important and while you are working in the ward you will see a lot of cross infections and different other issues uh, in the theater or in the clinic or during the ward procedures and so on so see how you can stop them prevent them and uh, based on the resources available for you use the innovative methods to do that now this is a photograph I just uh, got from one of the previous interns. Now if you see this, this is a very simple thing. Where it is, is a key, the, uh, the watch and the scissor and the uh, measuring tape. This is nothing new there. But he make it into a bundle and it's in his pocket. So what is say, what is said for me, so all the other interns running around the world to do a measuring tape or a scissor when it is necessary, it's everything in my pocket. Or I never miss key in the hospital or in the, uh, my uh, body place. It's there, everything together. So see, there is nothing, not much new, but he has put some ideas to make it uh, work for his functionality. So, Drug compliance is again a very important aspect, either in the hospital or after the discharge. In the both scenarios, try to see whether you can make some innovations to make it happen in a proper way or having the drug compliance among the patients. So we will discuss few tips, very briefly, what kind of characteristics you should have to have an innovative mind. One of the important things is be a good observer. It's not just for the innovation, but for completing your pre internship in a proper way. Observation is very important. You should be a good observer all the time. Observe what happens in ward. Observe how the other patients are treating, how the consultant is behaving, how the consultant is uh, talking to the patient. Or everything. There is a, in each and every place, there is a lesson for you to learn whether good or bad, or sometimes uh, the patient's behavior, and uh, where are the constraints, where are the bottlenecks. Those things are the solutions you are coming to for uh, with your innovations. And one of the good thing, and uh, what I have seen many innovators using is having their pocket book, notebook, small one. It's used to write your problems which you are facing in the world. Think what you have can do to overcome them. 
and think innovatively. Bring new ideas. Get other opinions too, that is also important. And trial with your limits. Why I am putting the limits words is that uh, whatever you are doing, you should have get the consensus from the, your senior colleagues as well. So, one of the things is sometimes we have a lot of ideas, but we never m try to make them implement. We just think, okay, this should be this way. If I do something like this, this problem will sort it out. Or I can, I'm able to reduce the congestion of the ward, or maybe reduce the congestion of the queue of the clinics or whatever. But you never get it implemented. So, making your ideas work is also an important thing. And try to fill a need that no one else thought to fill. That is how you are becoming an innovator and uh, kind of going to an extra mile than others. Think through a new approach or find an answer that wasn't apparent in the first place. If it is happens in the first place for everyone, it is not going to be innovation. But I am Say now you are attending this good intern program, this is also a really good innovation which has not been happening in our time. Now you are fortunate to be part of it and probably the first in the world. Okay? And be curious. Curiosity motivates innovators to look into ideas that can change the world. Innovators are open to new ideas and willing to pursue new possibilities. Look at whatever is in place right now and imagine what should we come next. And remember this as well. Thomas Edison tried uh, about 10,000 times to develop the bulb and failed. And uh, then only he was able to invent the bulb. He said, I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. So everyone has the power to be creative. Everyone can be curious and seek if you have enough motivation. And one last thought, anything is possible if you have got enough nerve. That is also a very good citation, quotation. Okay, then contribute to the scientific knowledge. So thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>